Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. We are going to look at how your absence is being felt. So for those of you who have walked away from a situation or someone walked away from you, let's see how your absence is being felt. All right, how's your absence being felt? You got your words manifest. Oh, your words manifest your reality. You got seduction. More to the story. Something unknown will be revealed. Something isn't adding up. Read between the lines. Lies, deceit, betrayal. And you have social media. So something's going on. Possibly on social media. I do get the sense that someone is watching you. How's your absence being felt? Ooh. <laughs> you got love, unconditional, compassion, genuine union. So someone's still in love with you. We got reflection, dark night of the soul, dark shadow, facing inner truth, seeing true colors. I feel like someone is facing themselves. Possibly taking accountability. We got call hearing from conversation talking unblocking and deja vu there's history happened in the past repeated patterns all right so you got someone who's like reflecting on their behavior there's still a lot of love that they have for you how's your absence being felt right now how's your absence being felt by your person or people. How's your absence being felt? Knight of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Ace of Cups in reverse. Three of so Someone's very hurt. This person is very, very heartbroken. Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords. King of Cups in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So first of all, someone is very, very heartbroken. I don't know if you blocked this person or just walked away. Or if they walked away, but you didn't, you decided like not to take them back because you do have calls. I don't know if they tried to call you or if they're going to try to call you, but they are very, very heartbroken. I am seeing somebody wanting to come back. Eight of Cups in reverse. This is someone wanting to come back despite the situation being bad or things not being smoothed out. They still want to come towards you, especially with this Knight of Swords. But what is going on here with these two kings in reverse? Some of you, this could be um, like they're in their feelings, but they also. This could be them being in their feelings about you coming off as very detached from them, but they also seem to have like. Kind of an anger towards you, anger, angry thoughts at the moment because of how they feel. And I do get this feeling that this person literally sees you as a player because <laughs> there's something about with this card here and the more to the story. I don't know if this person is trying to get information about what you have going on. I get this energy of someone like calling people, asking if they've seen you with someone because I don't know if you're posting pictures that look really good or if you just look good every day when you're being seen out there. But this person, there's something with the Knight of Wands in reverse, like they feel like you are being a player, like you're attracting people and you're dealing with people. They, Some of you, this person even suspects that that's why you're not coming towards them or that's why you did walk away. They feel like they, some of you, this person thinks there's some kind of ulterior motive as to why you walked away, that you may secretly have someone else. There is some mistrust here with this person for sure. Like they don't trust, <laughs> they don't trust you or because of how you look or the attention that you get, they feel like 
it's no doubt that you have these options that's how they feel i get this very like especially just with the picture in this car where there's a three-way phone call i feel like this person's asking around and i feel like they're trying to be slick as well with it like they may not ask direct questions to people because it's almost like they don't want people to know that they're stalking or spying on you or wanting to know but they'll ask like in a way where it seems like they're trying to just check on you or something like that that's a feeling i get from this person that they are being inquisitive like really trying to figure out what you're doing because they're really going through it emotionally but i feel like their pride is a thing their pride won't let them show these feelings their pride won't let them directly ask questions about you they don't want people to know that they're stuck on you but they definitely feel rejected why this knight of wands in reverse They think you're looking. They think you're looking for somebody new. Two of Wands. Ace of Wands in reverse. They feel like this is why you've rejected them. This is why there's no forward movement. You got the High Priestess. Okay, and this is making me feel like this person, either they're going, like they're taking a spiritual route to finding out what you're doing, or they are spiritual themselves or intuitive. And I'm being drawn to this card, so I wonder if they're doing like mirror stuff to like i don't know what i get from this person is they really want to know they want to know what's going on they want to know what's going on with you they feel like it's their business why the ace of cups in reverse strength ten of swords they feel rejected. They feel very hurt by this Ten of Swords. Could be a Leo for some of you. We've got water and air here. But this, the rejection is really getting to them. They didn't expect you to be this strong and actually be okay without them. Why the Three of Swords? Five of Swords, Death in Reverse. Wow. They feel like... I don't know what goes on in this person's head, to be honest, because it's like they feel that... I don't know if there was like a third party that they knew about or that they suspected that you liked someone or there was someone flirting with you, but they feel like somebody else won you over whether they know of this person whether this person even even exists or not they feel like i don't know if they they if they have that kind of insecurity where they feel like someone else is like a better fit for you or if they're just making up this person in their head but they feel like somebody has won you over someone else has won you over Maybe this could be like financially, they could they could be maybe insecure about their finances and feel like, okay, maybe you found someone with better, like with more stability and that's why you left type of thing. Or that's why they're not hearing from you. Something about them feeling like somebody else better came along for you. Why the Eight of Cups in Reverse? So if you walked away like some time ago or a few days ago or, you know, if there's been a little bit of time, they've now realized that the no communication is affecting them. They've realized how it's affecting them, that it is affecting them. Maybe they were lying to themselves in the beginning, telling themselves they don't care, they don't need you. But now it's starting to get to them. Why the Nine of Swords? This is all about you talking to other people. Like, this is what this person stays up thinking about. 
okay this is what's on them this is what's ha what has them in this energy is who are you talking to who are you giving your attention to now who's loving you now and they're asking about this i told you about this three-way conversation if they're asking multiple people or they have like maybe maybe they have like two or more friends and one of them knows you or knows of you but there's something about them asking you around and i feel like they're trying to like bring it up in a conversation like in a way that isn't too obvious the three-way could even represent um social media going through a fake account to watch and see what's going on why the knight of swords moon in reverse they might come at you suddenly to reveal something <laughs> it's funny because you got the queen of swords so that's like literally meeting them as they come towards you some of you might tell them you know that you don't want to hear it or something or have your guard up in some way they could be a pisces for some of you But with the moon in reverse, this person kept a lot of secrets. They kept a lot of their feelings hidden. And I feel like something's going to like overflow. There's something they can't keep in anymore. With the two of pentacles, they're about to let something be known. Because it's in reverse. Why the king of cups in reverse? Wow, the emperor in reverse. This is that possessiveness. They're about to take action, three of wands. They could be busy with work at the moment. This could be weighing heavy on them while they're at work. They feel like that is, this is more about who has your attention than anything. They're a possessive person. And I feel like they try to hide that because it, it kind of reveals feelings so they don't show that possessiveness. You may have seen it a little bit. Why the King of Swords in reverse? Page of Swords in reverse. This person is stalking. They're stalking. And the Seven of, seven of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. And with the Hierophant, it's making me feel like this person doesn't usually do this. Like they may have said they don't, they would never chase anyone or stalk anyone. Well, that's just not them. But they're doing something that isn't really them now with the Hierophant in reverse. And it's with the Page of Swords in reverse, which is about stalking. And with the Knight of Swords in reverse, it makes me feel like this person's just not really... You have this person acting out a character, I want to say. <laughs> They're not being themselves right now because they are so... They're so concerned about what you're doing. That's the thing. It's about what you're doing and who you're doing it with. That's the main thing. Could be an Aries for some of you. Let me look at the main spread. Oh, did I say Leo? Could be a Leo as well. And um, Scorpio as well. So how's your absence being felt? How's your absence being felt? How's your absence being felt? Okay, they have hidden feelings, hidden feelings. Knights of Swords, not usually in that position. So this must be urgent with this, with this person.
They want to make peace with you. Their wish is the five of wands in reverse. Overall energy, three of cups. They want to make peace. They want to end the conflict. And they're literally scared to give up with the nine of wands in the fears because I feel like it's more so about if they give up, then someone else gets to have you. They can't stand the thought of that and they keep thinking about it anyways, <laughs> even if it's not true. Even if you're just single and just chilling. Why the Knight of Swords? Page of Swords, wow. Nine of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment. They're watching you. And this kind of goes with the seduction card because this something about how you look is making them want to run towards you. Like this person could be very like they could really like how you look. Really tempted by how you look all the time. Because something about that, when they see you, it makes them want to make a move right away. Like call or whatever but if they're blocks then there's that's definitely more difficult but you make them want to just leap why the ace of pentacles in reverse they see you as being cold towards towards them they feel like Yeah, they feel like you close the door on them, you've been cold towards them, you freed yourself. You guys could have had arguments that were just mind boggling. Like, they feel like you, you were very stressed out when, when you guys would argue, and they feel like you're finally free from that stress of the conflict. That you're, you know, you have a clear headspace, you're doing good. But they don't feel like they're in that same position. They're in this six of wands where they feel like they're not good enough for you. That someone else could be better for you. Why are the page of wands in reverse? Six of wands again in reverse. They, for some of you, they literally feel like they're being rejected because um, they're not good enough or there's something that they're lacking that could not be the reason maybe there's a different reason why there's separation but obviously it seems like their self-doubt is kicking in or the things that they're insecure about so that starts to come in they start to question themselves if that's the real reason why you left or why you don't want to speak why the five of wands in reverse <laughs> they're in love with you they're in love with you. Oh my God. What? <laughs> okay. So their wish is to come out of this conflict. Why? Because King of, <laughs> King of Cups, the Fool, and the Page of Cups. So why they want to start fighting? Because they're in love with you. We do have the love card here. They're in love. And they want to take that leap. They want a new start. They want to start over. But with this card, it's not that easy because there's a reason why there's a separation. They kind of want to ignore that reason and just get back together. But that can't be done because the issue will still be there. Why the Nine of Wands? Why the Nine of Wands? Hmm. They don't want to give up. I'm hearing that Christian song. Um, I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I've started from. Is that Mary Mary? Or is it another group? It's a Christian song. They don't want to give up on this. They feel like it doesn't make any sense. They feel like they've... Um, 
they feel like they'll always be in this energy or they'll be in this energy for a long time which they're not willing to like go through why the seven of ones why is the seven of ones here There's a lot of ego. There's a lot of ego that um, it's like you are the seven of ones, putting up a boundary, protecting your energy. You know, staying far away from this Diablo card, this devil. Not putting up with this queen of queen <laughs> not putting up with this king of wands in reverse energy because the king of wands is also blocking the situation so i don't know if this person was in their ego being you know being over the top being bossy whatever the case but they definitely feel like they're being humbled by this situation where you have walked away from them. Why the King of Wands? Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Sagittarius and Leo is here again. King of Wands. So for some of you, this King of Wands could be this person. We had like three kings come out. But they could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or have fire in their chart somewhere. This is about them wanting a second chance. Wanting to take action when it comes to starting over and the tower in reverse world in reverse tower in reverse this is someone not wanting something to be over why the four of pentacles in reverse their next move Four of Pentacles in reverse. There's something that they're willing to let go of in order to have a new start with you. Now with the star in reverse, could be an Aquarius, but this could be that they're willing to do some work on themselves. Hence this card, you know, facing the inner truth Because I feel like they spent some time trying to convince you to put up with something you didn't want to put up with. But I see them willing to sacrifice. I got the hangman in reverse. Willing to sacrifice because they're not giving up. So this area right here looks like this person is contemplating what they're willing to sacrifice to be in this relationship. And that could be that they're willing to do the work. They're willing to express their feelings, whatever it takes. Why the temperance? The lovers, so, okay. Seven of Swords. So what you're needing to know, the position of what you're needing to know is temperance, that in divine timing, you guys could be a couple. This person could grow. Because I'm seeing the, I'm paying attention, which I don't usually pay attention to, the growing um, trees behind both people. This person could be willing to grow up, like there is something they're sacrificing, so they could be willing to do something to be better. Why did the Six of Pentacles come out in reverse? Four of Cups. They're coming to realize that what they were offering you was less than what you deserve. I feel like them facing that truth kind of a 
realizing what they had and realizing that what they were offering you was just not equal to it. And they're willing to grow and do better. Why the sun in reverse? Strength in reverse, sun in reverse. Again, a lot of Leo energy. There's a bit of noise in the from my neighbors I'm hearing, but yeah. Two of swords, strength in reverse. I feel like some of you have feelings for this person, but you're also like very, you are wanting to stay detached, to stay true to yourself because of what this person was doing or how they were treating you or what they were not giving in this relationship. I feel like you're at the moment aware of your feelings, but denying them. So I'm seeing that some of you are needing to allow yourself to feel, not like surrender to them, but feel and accept your feelings as well. So let me see. How's your absence being felt? How's your absence being felt? Loyalty, trusting, reliable, believing. Hmm. How's your absence being felt? Divine feminine, feminine energy. Hopeless, sinking, despair, falling apart. And realizations, epiphanies, understandings, awakenings. See, there is this, especially in this area, like them having a moment of, oh yeah, I had this person and I like them this much but I was only given them this much. Like they're realizing their own ungratefulness <laughs> in the situation. Like that's what they're realizing. So that's good that they're realizing the truth. How's your absence being felt? Cold shoulder distance. Yeah, I feel like you distancing yourself giving them the cold shoulder and they are seeing you that way twin flame two bodies one soul how's your absence being felt loves to start things drama dating whining dining Two. Blocked, no communication, ghosted, willful blindness. And return of the ex, they want you back. So we're back to them being fixated on who you're dating. They were willfully blind to the fact that they needed to do more at the time. Probably played hard to get. Probably just was ungrateful. Why is wine and dine here? Dating, why is this here? Page of Cups in reverse. Magician in reverse. Knight of Cups. This person could have um, gave you the whole speech or yeah, something about you not finding anyone better or there's only this type of person out there anyways. Or talking bad about someone that you went on a date with or they could do that in the near future. Tell me more about this. And again, the, <laughs> the Knight of Cups is there. So I don't know if this person either just said that or they're investigating someone you actually went on a date with to see if this oh my gosh this is like really petty and really this part's really specific but this person could have or will 
investigate a person they feel like you could be talking to or went on a date with to make sure that this person is not who they say they are and not good for you. Because there's something about a bad date here. So either you're going on a date with someone who is manipulative, emotionally mature, and just you just don't want to be with this person. Maybe you already went on this date. But if you went on a date and the date was fine, this person may go as far as to make sure that they find the truth about this person you went on a date, on a date with, which is just a lot <laughs> to go and do. But I feel like this person is very investigate, like they investigate things just for their own comfort. Clarify more to the story, please. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They're stuck on you. Six of cups in reverse. So what else there is to the story is that they're in love. They see you as their soulmate. Leo energy again. They could they could be telling people their feelings for you. I don't feel like that's for all of you but there is what's more to the story is their feelings because it says something isn't adding up so you could have seen um signs that this person has feelings for you or is even in love with you but they're telling you different they're trying to like play it off and for them to be doing all of this they definitely have more than just a little bit of feelings for you okay Clarify the love card, unconditional love. Three of Cups. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You could be very fun with this person or very entertaining to them. They feel like you guys have a friendship and a romantic connection. I feel like they love your energy and spirit with the three of cups the the energy that you bring like the joy the you could make them laugh it's something about fun with you maybe they're not used to having fun with a person that they're in a relationship with why is loyalty here judgment in reverse King of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person, so they want to prove some type of loyalty to you by proving that someone else is not loyal to you. So it could even, it could be this date that I was talking about, like something about them trying to find information about someone that you're involved with to prove to you that that person isn't right for you and that they are the one that you should choose. I don't know why it's, I've never gotten a message like this, but it feels like this person wants you to see them as the person that like the only loyal person. They're like, why are you going out there and dating when there's so many unloyal people out there and I'm the one who had your back type of thing. But while they may have had your back and been, you know, a good person to you, they could have did things that were still just not acceptable. Or well, maybe they were just non-committal, but loyal to you, but not wanting to like, sorry, there's more noise upstairs, not wanting to like fully commit, but being a friend or trying to play off as, as if they're just friends, as if you guys are just friends, but let's see. What are the messages? How is this person feeling your absence? So that let's heal each other. PTSD, debt, healing. I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Regrets, love affair, deceitful. Yeah, there could have been something they did. Yeah, being loyal to someone scares me. 
commitment issues on faithful polyamorous and we got you don't know who i am wearing a mask delusional hiding true self so this person they felt loyal to you but that was scary to them something about either commitment issues like they never thought they would want to commit to someone okay let me explain thoroughly this person may have had feelings for you right seeing you as more than they've ever seen anyone else that they've dated so they may be used to like fickle situations whereas when they met you they started to feel like love and stuff like that true feelings but then because of their usual persona they may have tried to play it off like you guys were just friends blah 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 they may even have tried to date other people or tried to like remain in some type of player energy if that's what they were you could have picked up on this energy whether it's a non-committal behavior or that they were trying to date others or still looking and you were like no or you guys got in an argument and they walked away whoever walked away it don't matter they were doing something you didn't like and ooh, where it says hiding true self i feel like this is the whole thing about them hiding how they truly feel delusional let me clarify this clarify that you don't know who i am the hiding true self delusional wearing a mask why is this here the hierophant ten of cups in reverse they are so the ace of cups in reverse delusional energy so this person is someone who acts like they don't commit but they actually do because they do get jealous they do get competitive they do fantasize about commitment but they act like they don't want it this person it could be that they're scared of commitment but they do want it so this could be some type of childhood issue ptsd as it says where they get that feeling like they meet someone they want to commit but then they're like no i can't commit because that's scary so then they do all this self-sabotaging behavior which would make you walk away from them and that's what happened i think they're about to make more noise i can like literally hear them upstairs but How's your absence being felt? Twin flame again. Spiritual alignment, effortless, karmic, short term. Quick flings, ending time, triangle, crowded relationship, communication, texting, phone calls online. They think you're dealing with someone online. They think especially if they um were trying to date others when they were with you or they seemed like they were still looking they definitely they definitely feel like you're getting revenge now or you are allowing yourself to explore options and that's again like i said from the beginning that's what's really weighing on them is who are you talking to what's this triangle Let's see they got the noise the jealousy Knight of Cups in Reverse. And the, again, Ace of Cups in Reverse. When I tell you, if this person, like, I don't know if maybe you've seen a little slightly, like it, the jealousy showing a little bit, but if they were actually to see you with someone else with their eyes. That's if it's not on social media, though. Like, if it's on social media, obviously you wouldn't see their jealousy. They'll be able to just, be angry without you knowing but if it was if, if this is in person i don't think they'll be able to hide it tell me more about the triangle they don't like the competition the five of five of ones see they're about to move a chair see that one that wasn't that loud 
but five of wands in reverse knight of swords in reverse competition irritates this person like irritates them I don't even think it's easy for them to hide their jealousy, which is why some of you could have seen it. What's the short term thing? Yeah, some of you might have gone on a date or entertained another option. Short term, it may not have worked out. Five of Cups, or this could be how sad they are about this. But there is something about juggling you could deal with or could have dealt with a short-term connection during this separation here and if you did and they know about it they're trying to find like the worst like they're trying to find the worst tea on this person that you dealt with to make sure that you know that they're not good for you and you shouldn't talk to them that's what they're gonna do which sounds very specific <laughs> I'm very petty, but I keep getting that. It's strange because I don't usually get that message for, well, during any reading that someone's going to like find dirt on somebody. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay. How's your absence being felt? How's your absence being felt? You turn. <laughs> Pillow talk. Turn off. Some of you could have been turned off by their behavior. We got revenge. I told you they think they think that you're getting revenge now. That that's why you're like even if you're not dealing with other people or you didn't even go on a date, they feel like if they did try to play you, that you will try to play them. Even if you won't, that's just what they think. That's just what they think. They think, oh, now, now they're going to get revenge on me. Now they're going to talk to someone else and just put it in my face. How's this person feeling your absence? Forgive. Someone from the past. Danger. Be you, be you again. <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, this person really loves your personality. Sadness. Follow your heart and bliss and so in love. I feel like this person really loves your, your personality. It's like your looks have them wanting to run towards you, but then your personality is another thing. So how do they let this go? This is not just someone who's just looks, but a boring personality. You know, it's like everything. You got looks and personality. So yeah, they're gonna follow their heart. Why is danger here? Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, they feel like it's dangerous to, to have these feelings. They could have been trying to drag their feet. Every like moment where they kind of become consciously aware of the fact that they have feelings for you. They feel a sense of danger. Ten of Wands, like it's too much. They shouldn't be, or shouldn't. They shouldn't have feelings this soon. They shouldn't be loved this soon. They shouldn't be loved this much. Um, clarify the hopeless card. Yeah, with the no communication, Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, Empress in reverse, six of cups, they miss you. They definitely, this is about 
the no communication part is what makes them feel hopeless especially if they're blocked so obviously they feel like they might be not might not be a way back in or they might not be able to find a way to contact you i feel like if so that's de if they have no way to contact you like if they're blocked they're definitely asking about you they're definitely calling around maybe they're trying to ask where they can um pretend to run into you <laughs> where you're gonna be where you usually are at what time like what time <laughs> i don't feel like it's in a like a scary way it's just i feel like they want to act like they happen to be there but yeah let's see how's your absence being felt joy and stability power couple they adore you and blooming they fantasize about this type of stuff joy and stability and being and being a power couple but you know what they also fear this stuff there's like a trauma there that makes them fantasize about it but fear it so it's like when they start to feel like they're getting close to this they kind of get excited but then then they're like whoa wait a minute these things could fall apart someone could betray some you know like they got one of them little doubtful voices in their head where it's like this exists in their mind somewhere where it's safe but in the real world it's scary to them but like i said over here there's a lot of changes and sacrifices i see them wanting to make so and i can see the pursuit card revealing itself chasing persistent hunting down resilient so i see them not giving up and actually deciding to make the sacrifices because it's, it's really about you being a full package looks and personality and making them feel like a way they've never felt like whether they find that again i'm being drawn to your words manifest your reality so some of you could be trying to like manifest a better situation with this person or in your love life in general it's definitely working so keep speaking you know positively over your relationships your love life because changes are happening with this person they are thinking about doing better it's not this is not someone who is like running they kind of run in but they kind of don't want to run because they feel like they're going to look back and see you with someone else and that will just they don't want that to happen okay let's just say that they don't want that to happen so i feel like a lot of you are in your feminine energy so you're really attracting this person you're attracting people in general things and you're respecting yourself you're doing what you need to do for yourself and that's really working for you because this is someone who's actually thinking about doing better to be with you realizing that what they were giving you was not enough that you definitely deserve more but they don't want someone else to be the one to give you more <laughs> so they're willing to do the work so i would say keep doing what you're doing with manifesting respecting yourself because it's working okay so yeah this is how they feel in your absence got bliss follow your heart here yeah. yep pillow talk twin flames is here twice so it could definitely be a twin flame situation for some of you where this person is having to change heal do the right thing do the work because i don't see them being a bad person i just see them being a person who doesn't know or at the time didn't know that they had this that they low-key had this fear of the thing that they actually want which is commitment with that hierophant that came out 
So, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. They could be a Gemini. They could be Aquarius, Sagittarius. Leo was here, like, between four, like, around four to seven times it came out. Leo card. So, they definitely have... Leo in their chart or some fire sign placement, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could be Capricorn. Um, yeah, Capricorn energy. <laughs> it's a lot of cards, but not a lot of signs, honestly. Definitely Leo, definitely fire signs, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Could say water because the King of Cups came out earlier. And Scorpio. And air signs came out earlier. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So yeah, this is what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.